Rob says he got this email saying although the baby was his, she was going to raise it with her husband. I'm standing here saying I want my son in my life. I want to pay child support. Let's sign the proper documents and let me just do You're that. You're trying to do the right thing. That's all I want. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be reacting to a video titled Child Support Law Outrageous. So before we get into this one, we wanna ask you guys to please like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everybody for all the support and we'll get into it. When a divorced dad was ordered to pay child support for a child who isn't his, he turned to our Target 8 investigators for help. We uncovered it's perfectly legal for the state to order him to pay support for another man's child and to deny biological fathers who want to pay from doing so. Target 8's Heather Walker exposes a law that's being called outrageous. What's going on, buddy? Joseph Shamilar is a divorced dad of two. Yeah. <laughs> Not even nine months after the split, Joe got some shocking news from his boys. And they got in the car and they were bouncing up and down, you know, telling me that mom has a new baby and i said well is she babysitting is she um you know is she looking after someone so you didn't think it was real no i had no idea his ex-wife had given birth she had gotten pregnant during their separation by another man legally she was still married to joe court papers clearly acknowledged the baby is not joe's but albert bush's and that Bush had established a personal, financial, or custodial relationship with the child. The court ordered medical expenses be split between the biological parents. <laughs> <laughs> but the Friday before Father's Day, Joe got a letter in the mail from friend of the court. I thought, my God, this is, this is hilarious. It's Father's Day weekend, and here's the biggest joke that I think I've ever had played on me transpiring right now. The letter said he owed $8,500 in back child support plus medical expenses for a baby his ex-wife had with another man. So let me get this straight. So pretty much he had a family, two kids. Technically, he was still married, right? The uh, wife ends up giving birth to another child. And subsequently, he's on the hook for paying for that baby that's not his. That's crazy. Yep. yep. Like, I I don't even know how this is even a law, to be honest with you, because she cheated, didn't she? Or they were separated, but they were still legally married. So I guess it's not cheating. Well, but I mean, they were separated for nine months, I think the video said. And it takes nine months to have a child. So I'm assuming she was cheating before. and talking to other guys before. Mm -hmm. And then subsequently, she just ended up having a baby. And nine, nine months later, he's on the hook for that. So even though, like, so because they're still legally married, even though the baby is biologically, it's not his, mm -hmm. he's still responsible for paying the paying for the child as if he was a biological father. Yeah. Because of the marriage. Um, I think either, they'll get more into it, but okay. it's either going to be because of the marriage or which father is a better fit for that child. Oh, I see. So he may be more uh, responsible and more financially stable for that child. Damn. So the court's pretty much saying, all right, you handle it. So if, so if, she, if she had a baby with a bum, like, and who doesn't have a job or whatever, then right. this poor guy who's like hardworking and has two other, two other children that he's taking care of, mm -hmm. like the, okay, it's like, okay, we'll add one more to your plate. Yeah. Isn't that effed up? My God, uh, this poor man. and Father's Day weekend on top of it. Anyway, and this is—I mean, this I is can't. why men are either going their own way or choosing not to get married because of these types of scenarios, right? So, it's unfortunate that he's going through it. Uh, but let's go ahead and continue. Let's see what else they say. I went to Ottawa County Friend of the Court Office to get answers. How is this legal? Their spokesperson agreed to do an on-camera interview but on the scheduled day, changed his mind and would only answer our questions over the phone. He told us it didn't matter who the biological dad is, only what's in the best interest of the child. In other words, which one can take best care of the child financially? The court decided that was Joe. Do you think this law needs to be changed in any way? We went straight to the man who tried to fix the law, Senator Rick Jones. I certainly would agree that if you're married to someone, they then run off and have a child by another man that you should not have to pay child support. That seems a bit outrageous. That's just not fair though. I understand obviously, of course, the best interest 
um, for the child. I understand that. But it's like, so this guy just gets, gets, you know, freed with having a child with this a woman who was still married. And now the fault is onto somebody else. And he's just like, oh, well, I'm okay, well, bye. 56. It said if a child is born to a married woman, the biological dad has no legal rights. Last year, it was updated to allow husbands like Joe to fight financial responsibility. What's the biggest problem with the law and the language, would you say? It's not clearly drafted. Melissa Drake is Joe's attorney. She tells us the law isn't just failing him, it's not working for biological dads either. Rob Recknagel says he's had trouble eating and sleeping since his son was born. Every single day that goes by that I don't get to see him, it just gets tougher. I don't know what he looks like. Rob says he searched online hospital nurseries just to see if he could find his son. He says he didn't know his girlfriend was still married when they got together. Rob says they were planning to blend their families. Rob bought a ring. But before she gave birth, Rob says he got this email saying although the baby was his, she was going to raise it with her husband. I'm standing here saying I want my son in my life. I want to pay child support. Let's sign the proper documents and let me just do You're that. You're trying to do the right thing. That's all I want. What can be done about this? That is wild. What can be done about this is people should be more responsible and shouldn't have sex outside of marriage, shouldn't father children outside of marriage, and, and should think before they act. That's what needs to happen. Could we do more? Yes. Could we fine tune it? Yes. Should a father have to pay uh, support on a child when it's not his child? No. So we do need to do more, but we've made some monumental changes. Heather Walker reporting. Well, after we started questioning friend of the court, it dropped its request for Joe to pay child support. In fact, 10 days ago, an Ottawa County judge issued an order clearing Joe of all responsibility for that child. As for Rob, he was able to see his son, but only for an hour. He's still fighting in court to get legal rights for regular visits. I think a lot of these guys in these types of scenarios, I know we call them beta, but they try to move in good faith when they meet somebody yeah. right they're you know excited they want to get flowers they want to be a dad they want to blend the family like they want to do the right thing but you always find these types of women not all but you always find these types of women are always kind of looking in the best interest for themselves right and not yeah. necessarily for the guy so like you said you have to find or do a better job in finding women right if you got to interview their friends you got to Look at their previous boyfriends. Yep. If they were dealing with Ray Rays and Pookies, I mean, that's uh, a telltale sign as to who she's attracted to and maybe a little bit about her character, right? You have to do your Googles, yep. we'll say, when you're looking for these types of women mm -hmm. because the wrong situation can destroy your life. Yeah, and also wrap it up. <laughs> Like, just if that's Perfect. the only thing I can say is just wrap it up. Yeah, you got to wrap would, it up. This wouldn't have happened to him if that was the case. Yeah. If he was just careful. So Yeah, but <laughs> I mean, I would argue and say like, I mean, if he's planning to marry the chick, I mean, okay, you're so bound to, why, you know what I mean? Fine. Okay, fine. So why, let's say if he, um, let's say he was meeting the family, her family. They probably would have been like, who is this guy? You're married then yeah. that would have given him his answer mm. or met her friends. And then someone would have probably given you a weird look being like, um, she's still married or something, right? Okay. Something would have clued in. Okay. So maybe if he just, you know, talked to more people that who are surrounded by her, mm -hmm. he would have been able to be like, oh, something is off here. Mm -hmm. And then been able to dig into a little bit more. And then that's, you know what I'm trying okay. to say? Yeah. So that's all I'm trying to position this as being just like research. Do your like proper research before like, committing to somebody and having a child and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. that's fair. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and end this video. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. Bye, guys.